Nintendo Lego sets, two childhood titan slot together perfectly to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, if there are two things that defined my 1990s childhood, apart from Disney, they would be Nintendo and Lego. Like many millennials I have never entirely grown out of either. In a cabinet in my spare room sits a perfect Lego Simpsons house, miniature cityscapes of Berlin and London, and a blocky mini. As for the video games, well, I've turned them into a career, I've been a games journalist and critic for more than 15 years, and own more Mario games than I'm comfortable admitting. All of which means I am an absolute sucker for the Nintendo-themed Lego sets that came out this month. Aimed at younger Lego fans, the Super Mario sets, a starter set is $49.99, with an eye-wateringly expensive array of expansions, from 3. 49 character packs to an 80 Bowser's Castle, offer bright bricks that can be combined to make real-world Mario levels, and an electronic Mario toy who comes to life to jump around them. These aren't static bricky recreations like Lego's Batman or Disney sets, they're more like level design kits. There is more fun to be had after the build than during. Lego Mario is a great toy, he knows when he's on water, blue, lava, red, or sand, yellow, and little QR code-like patterns tell him when he's jumping on a Goomba or climbing the flagpole at the end of a level. These Lego sets are playable in a way that others aren't, with reconfigurable level layouts that allow for the creation of imaginary adventures that sprawl across the living room floor. At 11 months my youngest is more likely to eat the bricks than admire their ingenious architecture, but a friend's 6 and 8 year olds were captivated. Of course they instantly became covetous of the expensive expansions, having spent a good 20 minutes browsing haunted boo houses and Yoshi add-ons on Lego's website after building the starter set, I could hardly blame them, with other child-oriented Lego tie-ins Star Wars or Disney, say I've noticed that the if there are two things that defined my 1990s childhood, apart from Disney, they would be Nintendo and Lego like many millennials I have never entirely grown out of either to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, 